Harvey Milk, as millions of Americans now know because of the Oscar-winning movie Milk, was a catalyst for this level of social advancement. Today, we pay tribute to him as one of our own, a UAlbany alumnus of the class of 1951. The university was very fortunate to have had Harvey Milk as one of our own for four years, from 1947 to 1951. Harvey Milk participated wholeheartedly in nearly all aspects of college life. He was a math major, an intramural athlete, an intercollegiate wrestler, a highly opinionated state college news columnist on many subjects, I might add, a sports editor, the director of the freshman orientation camp while he was a junior. And some might say that it was while a freshman here at UAlbany that lessons on perseverance in the political arena really began for Milk when he ran for a position on student government as a freshman and then years later moved on to run for office in San Francisco four times before winning a seat on city council. Harvey would be so honored and thrilled that the university that he attended would be honoring him today. I know that because Harvey was always touched by youth. The reason he was touched by youth, and I think we heard it so well from his classmates, is because he did have a mask that society forced him to wear when he was young. It's a mask that I was familiar with as well. It's a very difficult thing for a young person to have to do in any society. And to be able to take off that mask is, is just one of the greatest gifts that we can give each other and our time here on Earth. I believe that Harvey Milk would have been proud to see how our university community has evolved since his time here, especially with respect to our Student Proud Alliance. Though he has never been one of our, to one of our ev events or meetings, we count him among our large membership. It's important here at the university to honor our heroes, and this homecoming weekend, Harvey Milk is our hero. Harvey Milk's election to public office as a gay man shows that even if you're different, you have value. He would be so honored that you have come today. Harvey imagined a lot of things. He, you know, a lot of, sometimes people say to me, you know, it's too bad your uncle didn't get to see all of the LGBT elected officials that we have in this country. And I answer them, yeah, he did see that. Um, he absolutely did see that. Um, and, and, and that's what he, he envisioned would be the future. I don't know if he would envision this day. At, at, at his college, that you would all come here to honor him. You came to honor his authenticity, and his message to you would be the same as my message, that he message he inscribed in Seven Arrows to me, which is, which is you, your individuality, your creativity, the gifts, your passion and purpose that you're bringing into this world. That is the medicine that the world actually does need. So thank you very much. I'm honored to be here.